my friends so today I'm gonna try an infinity pour and so basically that's um, just trying to do like an infinity design over and over again um, and I'm using a split cup with seven chambers it's um, 12 ounces so it's actually pretty perfect for this size canvas because I just need about 14 ounces and with um, the base coat um, it sh I should be fine and I'm using a gold um, base coat super shimmery um, also just in case I get to do the the negative space so um, yeah so hopefully um, also by having the gold underneath um, it can create some beautiful cells so like I said the idea is just to do the infinity sign over and over again and so I'm just going back and forth back and forth and I think um, what I did that I what I how I could improve is um, to have the canvas lifted a little bit higher so that the paint runs a lot uh, quicker so that the infinity signs um, uh, you can see more of the infinity signs running down quicker um, so and then in addition to that I think I need to make the infinity signs bigger themselves so yeah so that's how I can improve for next time but um, yeah so now um, because it looks like it's gonna um, dry really dark I'm going to go ahead and put in a, a deer forest. So this I'm gonna call deer forest, even though um, right now I'm just putting in the trees. I'm gonna eventually have um, deer uh, running through the forest. And um, sort of like, you know, like when Bambi, you know, the fire and all that. Anyway, yeah, um, yeah, so, yeah, so that's kind of what I'm going for this time. And so um, now it's just a matter of uh, putting in um, the different trees. So I'm just gonna put a couple of big ones and then when I stencil in my um, my deer, because that I think it will be a lot harder for me to, to do without a stencil, um, then I'll put in some more of the little bushes and stuff like that. I'm gonna make the outline of the bushes just so that I know where I want to place them and then uh, once um, the piece dries a little bit actually once it dries because it should be dry uh, then I can go ahead and uh, put in the deer as well as the different fauna around um, flora actually um, around uh, there so yeah um, so this one, I wanted to make it to be the biggest one. So like, um, it's more like the forefront of the, the piece and then I can put in more of, um, the other, the smaller, um, tree. I want to make, um, like I said, a couple, maybe three, um, I might do four, but I think, I, I think I'll do three, three and like in the middle between the larger uh, trees then that's where i'll stencil the um the deer or who knows i might change my mind i could put like a bear but when i saw the background that it was gonna the way it was gonna dry i mean thinking it's gonna dry pretty dark. I thought of Bambi, I don't know, it just came to me. So it really should be a deer. So I'll go ahead and and put a Bambi in there. Uh, hope, But luckily this time Bambi, you know, stays alive. Um, so she'll be able to be on that um, painting forever. So yeah, she'll be nice and comfortable there, so. Can you hear the, we have a lot of pheasant outside and all kinds of other, other um, birds, but the pheasants are the ones that my mom, I mean, drives her nuts. Um, so I live in um, 
one property that's adjacent to my mall and even though the pheasants are on this side of the property she still hates it <laughs> but yeah there's there's just so many of them um, and if we liked pheasant we probably have pheasant every day and we still have a lot of pheasants so yeah and we live out in the country or uh, it's, we're just rolling because I really should couldn't say that it's country because we're in the desert so yeah anyhow so yeah so right now it's kind of like the evening time and yeah they're getting settled for uh, for night time and stuff like that and I don't know maybe they're fighting over like who sleeps where and stuff like that a majority of them like to sleep in the pine trees so we have different uh, types of pine trees outside so for the most part they like to sleep there um, but there are some that um, like to sleep on the mulberry trees that are on the other side of the house um, so yeah now here is I'm showing you the results the closer the close-up of the wet results um, so you'll note that they're super shiny I love um, how the pouring medium that I just um, made um, how it um, how shiny it is and yeah so I love it um, unfortunately I know that this um, piece is gonna dry really dark because of the black cherry and not only did it have black cherry it had uh, uh, red garnet it had thalo blue it had uh, ultramarine and I think the black cherry next to the um, thalo blue is just gonna make it super dark but it's okay because um, I think um, at the end it's gonna be a pretty interesting piece so so this is the close-up of deer forest um, the dry results so it looks really interesting I had wanted to stencil in um, the deer already but I can't find my deer stencil <laughs> so I need to work on finding it but it looks really pretty super dark and mysterious in the background 